Hey, what's up everybody? Robin here. Welcome to my channel here, Oracle Rising. Um, I'm talking about a full moon in, in Aquarius today and the full and new moons are some of my favorite times of the month. Um, very energetic, lots of change is possible for you guys. Um, this full moon is going to be in the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So there will be elements of this air sign available to everybody, regardless of your zodiac sign. I love the full moon and the new moon so much that I do tarot card readings on my other channel. And then I talk about the aspects of that full moon or the new moon on this channel. Um, and then I talk about the spiritual aspects or things available to you with the associated full moon or new moon on this channel. So um, I do like to bring in a tarot card deck on this side too. Um, I brought the witch's tarot over here. So <clears throat> the full moon, the full moons all have names, right? Uh, they are given by different cultures. Uh, another name for this full moon in Aquarius on July 23rd is the buck moon um <clears throat> there's probably other names available too but i didn't do an exhaustive list i did all of that last year on the full moons so just one sec guys anyway so um some of the aspects of aquarius that are going to be available to the collective are being very easy going um analytical you want to think about the king of swords uh when you when you hear the word analytical um we also have being eccentric it's kind of quirky and that's super cool being family oriented and fun okay so i have five aspects that could touch you during this full moon um, that you could tap into. And I'm going to tell you about these five points and then pull a tarot card to match each one of them. So the first one I absolutely love. It's saying to release your inner rebel, okay? So your inner rebel is that voice is like, well, I'm kind of tired of the humdrum. I would like to do something different. Uh, I'm gonna speak out against something, you know? Um, instead of quieting yourself, uh, there's a voice that is going to be too loud to ignore. And this is your inner rebel. So what's that Billy Idol song with the rebel yell? I get, I get that song in my head when I was reading um, Release Your Inner Rebel. So it'll be a good time to maybe take a stand for yourself or others or just do something really outrageous and fun that you wouldn't normally do. I, I see for at least one person you might be considering skydiving, which to me is like pure insanity. <laughs> I don't mind flying, but I'm not jumping out of a plane. That's a hard no for me. So let's pull a card for that. And this is such a great match. I pulled the Fool card because the Fool card is like releasing all fear and taking that step and doing something that is just outside your comfort zone, you know, just ready to go and, and releasing all fear and stepping forward even if it takes you a little bit close to the edge, you know, so you might want to think about things a little bit and take precautions, but also be a rebel, which might be a little bit uh, counterintuitive, but don't be so footloose and fancy free that you get too close to the edge of a situation. So do be careful, but have fun while you're out there. Um, look how close his feet are to the edge he's like yeah i'm fine everything's okay whoa and then fall down the side of the mountain and we don't want that for anybody <clears throat> that's another thing i don't understand i think it's really impressive that people climb mountains but man that looks treacherous i try to avoid treacherous situations at all costs i'm very clumsy i could see myself like totally falling off the side of a mountain or forgetting to buckle something if I was skydiving and, you know, things like going thunderously wrong. So I try to avoid situations like that and express my inner rebel in different ways. <laughs> something that doesn't involve, you know, a precarious situation. So the second point that I have here is following your own path. And I like the way that the Fool card sort of, it represents both. So you want to do something that is for you, you know? 
Um, I, so many people spend their lives working for somebody else, taking care of their family, um, just doing things for others. And, and that's a beautiful thing. Don't get me wrong. But <clears throat> what are you doing for yourself? You know, what is your own special thing for you? Um, your creativity, uh, the way you express yourself, following your own path and doing something for you because you cherish you and, and what makes you tick, okay? So um, oh, there's a card here. This is beautiful. You know, we've got the 10 of pentacles and this represents like striking the jackpot in your life. I heard a phrase a little while ago when I was watching a movie. It said, don't chase the paper, chase the dream. So when you chase your dreams, everything comes to you in abundance. Even if your dream doesn't make sense to anybody else, it doesn't have to. You know, imagine if certain people didn't follow their dreams. You know, where would we be today as a society? Some very notable people that have had huge influence just because they started with a dream. So following your own path, following your own dream is going to bring you everything here the ten of pentacles is very wealthy and it doesn't necessarily have to be money but feeling rich in your life you know if you're rich in family and friends and and have rich experiences you feel rich you know and it could end up attracting in money for you as well because you do have the ten of pentacles um which i love calling the jackpot card this third one I think is absolutely hilarious. What could be happening also under this full moon is relationship irritants. <laughs> Honestly, if you're going to be around people long enough, they're going to work on your last nerve, okay? Um, and it could be really highlighted under this full moon where you're just, just don't even say one more word, you know? <laughs> you just like, why can't you pick your socks up? You know what I mean? Just something is like, oh. I cannot handle that one more day. So be prepared for that, you guys. Relationship irritants. It's going to happen. It's basically all how you handle stuff like that. I just launched a card out. Um, well, it, it came on. I think this is so cool that this card just came out of the deck because it, it needs to highlight where would you be without the people that are close enough to irritate you? <laughs> you know? The Three of Cups, it's like this beautiful fellowship and these people are your tribe. Sometimes people just say the stupidest things or they're in a bad mood and they come up and they want to take it out on you. So it's really important to sit back and think like how much that person means to you and what your life would look like without them, you know? And it's just part of life. Like I don't know any two people that have ever spent any amount of time together that didn't have some sort of words or, you know, a standoff emotionally or intellectually, not speaking to each other. These things are going to happen. But with the Three of Cups, you're being guided to handle the situation with love. Okay, just say, okay. You know, you can actually say things like, I'm really annoyed with you right now, so I'm going to leave the room or maybe you should go for a drive or maybe something instead of flipping out or doing something retaliatory, you know, um, freaking out. I mean, that's just hideous. I mean, it's hysterically funny um, when people kind of pop like that, but it's also something that is impossible to forget. So when you're feeling irritated, just really look at everything else that is good in the relationship and try and soothe that and if you need time until you're calm when you don't feel irritated anymore maybe have a conversation then just say i need a breather i can't talk to you right now uh, i need my own space i'm gonna have a bubble bath yes i talk about bubble baths relentlessly i have one every day i love them so recognize that in yourself because you'll start to feel the emotions and then once your mouth is engaged, <laughs> things can get ugly. And we want to try to avoid ugliness in relationships. And if a relationship is getting to the point where it's constantly ugly or you're constantly irritated, I would say it's time to rethink that relationship and, and just whatever you do, offer it with kindness and love because that's how you want to be treated, right? Like what if you're irritating somebody? 
wouldn't you rather have them tell you than flip out on you? Or I'm, I'm seeing somebody like throwing laundry all over the place. I don't know where I'm getting that visual from, but you know, people just do really ridiculous things when they're upset. Um, <clears throat> so try to stay calm. You know, it's possible to be irritated and still be nice. So <clears throat> embrace your authentic vision. I have that here uh, and it seems very similar to following your own path, but what is your authentic vision? And to kind of capture that, you want to think back to when you were a child and you know, before people told you that there was limitations and that you wouldn't be able to do things because it's impossible to be successful. So your authentic vision is probably when you were, I don't know, I'm getting around between four and seven years old and maybe you wanted to be a singer or a writer, something really creative, or you wanted to be a doctor. And then at some point it just went away and I'm seeing here, it's just never too late to start over, you guys, you know. Um, and maybe you can do something that's really closely associated with it if you don't want to go at a certain age back to 10 years of university to be a doctor or whatever. But there's things that you can do part-time or you can volunteer and, <clears throat> you know, make a hobby out of it and just really embrace that in um, so you can recharge your life with that really... Like there's no other energy that is comparable to um, children, you know, before they sort of get brainwashed by society that things are not possible because anything is possible at any age. OK, so embracing your authentic vision. Um, I always wanted to be a singer, but I had horrible, horrible stage fright. Um and my dad always told me to shut up when I started singing. So that kind of went away. Um, <clears throat> and now my voice sucks. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Okay. I can't believe I just pulled this card, you guys. This is so amazing. It's so amazing. I pulled the Six of Cups because I was talking about capturing that energy from childhood and here it is for you it's coming back around like some cut sometimes the cards just blow my mind i could not have picked out a card more intentionally if i tried and this one just obviously i was shuffling forever i shuffle while i talk and then this card came out and it's just embracing that that joy from your childhood and there's an opportunity for you to feel it again. That is so beautiful that this card came out, the Six of Cups. It's never too late. It's never too late. It is never too late to do what you always wanted to do in your heart, your childhood vision, your childhood dream. You know, do something close to it that energizes you and makes you feel like oh, my dream came true. You know, I love that. Um, so let's see you guys. The next card I'm going to pull is going to be um, to relate to this point to connect with nature. And it's not always easy, especially if you live in a really big city. Okay. But <clears throat> there is looking out your window at the clouds. That's nature. You know, you could watch the Nature Channel. I'm really lucky where I live. I actually, my house is right beside a little park. And I have really big trees in my yard. So I can see the leaves blowing in the wind. And there's tons of, and if I say this out loud, I think Lacey's going to perk up. Um, there's like rabbits and squirrels and you know birds nesting and there's a huge park just a few minutes drive from me I used to live way in the country when I was a kid and we couldn't see any other neighboring houses at all it was just surrounded by trees I was close to the ocean um you know listening to sounds of nature if you don't have an option um, just really doing something, you know, watch the nature channel. I like to watch on Sundays. I watch Meerkat Manor <laughs> and it makes me so happy. <laughs> They're so cute. Does anybody watch it? Let me know in the comments, you guys. So connecting with nature and it's such a recharge too. 
especially if you can take your feet off and put them on the ground. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles here and look at how he's just embracing that pentacle. That is again the wealth here that we saw with this Ten of Pentacles that I pulled earlier. Um, what was the point I was talking about? I covered it up with my deck. Following your path. So there is absolutely something about connecting with nature. There is, um, if you've never heard of earthing, that is where you take your shoes off and you uh, pull in the energy from the earth. It's just this taking a pause and embracing everything to be grateful for, holding that close to your chest. And how many of you sit and like actually put your hand over your heart when something beautiful is happening to you the way that the night is right now and just feeling this beautiful gratitude for everything that you've been blessed with in this moment, you know, recharging yourself and it's just being grateful and thankful for everything that you have in your life. I mean, that's something that I do every day and I'm really blessed. I mean, at least in the summer and spring and fall around here, winter, I'm certainly not hanging around outside, but there's still something beautiful in the winter with the snow on the trees. And, you know, there's just such beauty to be, to remind you um, of the world that you live in that is it's full of natural wonder so if there's any way that you can do that to connect to, to nature at any opportunity that you have and again if you don't have a resource like even if you could sit outside on your balcony if you live in an apartment downtown look up at the clouds and just like close your eyes and listen to things even the city is part of nature right so i wouldn't eliminate that as something to think about oh this is really beautiful too like the architecture you know so just find those moments in your life you guys breathe them in put your hand over your heart feel that gratefulness and feel like that part of the the larger community of the world and and just soak it all in and and take those few minutes at least once a day you guys because it can really change your life and open you up and open your heart up and and i feel like i'm gonna start crying <laughs> emotional much so you know so there's so much out there you guys for you this is gonna be a really really beautiful full moon for you i love how the six of cups came up like every card that came out for you guys is so positive like embracing your tribe even if they're you know <laughs> i got the word idiots even if you look at somebody sometimes and like can you not chew with your mouth closed <laughs> you know <laughs> so really finding the beauty and everything capturing your your childhood dreams and just loving life okay guys i love you guys all so much okay so take care <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Bye.